Adobe Photoshop does not exist in a vacuum. Now, what I mean by that is it's probably not the only thing you use. I mean, I love Adobe Illustrator. I adore InDesign, but I work with Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, Maya. I use a lot of different programs. My go-to program for organization of not just Photoshop, although that's where we're going to concentrate, obviously, is Bridge. Adobe Bridge began its life in CS1. That was the first program where it was standalone. But the program before that, which was Photoshop 7, Bridge made its debut as part of Photoshop. In Photoshop 7, you had to open Photoshop to get into Bridge. It became very popular, and in CS1, it became its own program. Now, what you're looking at is the latest evolution of Bridge. And what I want to do in this lesson is just do a walkabout through the program. Check it out, see what's there, kick the tires. Let's start up here. Now, up here, you've got workspaces, and we'll talk more about these later. But it displays the information down here in different ways based on what Adobe feels you want. Let's go back to Essentials for now. Now, let's start way over here. You do have a button here to go back to where you were previously. Down here, you have Favorites. Now, we'll talk more about these in another lesson in this chapter, but what they are are areas where you can put stuff that you use over and over again. You're working on a project, and that project is important, and that project requires certain folders, and you can put them over there to get to them. What I have over here now is the defaults. If I go into Pictures and go into, say, this one right here, and then open up this one, I'm kind of drilling down, if you will. Well, there finally are some pictures. Now, you will notice we have a breadcrumb trail right here. We can go back by clicking this button up here, or we can click these and go backward this way. Now, let's say you go all the way back, say, to here, and you say to yourself, well, I want to get back to that folder I, you know, was in about two minutes ago. I don't quite remember how I got there, so I'm kind of lost. If you click this button right here, it will take you to whatever you want to go to based on your recents. And there it is right there. And we can, boom, instantaneously go back to it. This button here is called the boomerang. And that takes you into Photoshop directly from here if you want to do that. This button allows you to get photographs off your camera. So Bridge has the ability, if you've got a camera hooked up, to bring those photographs directly in and organize them in Bridge. That's pretty cool. This next button right over here is called Refine. Let me show you this one. If I click it and I had something selected, I could rename or batch rename. I could get file information. But there's something else here called Review Mode. Let me show you this real quick. Go ahead and click it. Now, in Review Mode, whatever folder you were in will show you all the images. If I press the left and right arrow keys, I can go through them. Let's say I am looking for images that are just really not the photos of the front of the house, but just things like flowers and stuff like that. So I want to get rid of these in my review. You click on one and bring it to the front using the left and right arrow keys. To get rid of it, press the down arrow key. Every time you press down, it eliminates it from the review. I can keep doing this until I get down to here. Let's say I go one too far, press the up arrow key. So now I just have the flowers. And go through them and you say, well, now nah, I don't want that one. I don't want that pansy. I just want the yellow one. So down with that one, down arrow. Now it's big enough to show me four. I highlight the ones I don't want to see anymore. Pull that one down. Maybe pull the one on the top down. Now it's only two. I can right or left click here, choose the one I want, and boom, then I've got it. If I right click my mouse, some of the things I can do is rate it, label it, rotate it, even open it if I want to. Over here, you have a little button. If I click it, it opens up a magnifier. And I can go around and magnify the image in different areas. It's magnifying from this point right here. Close it, just go right here. This button right down here, if you click it, allows you to save this in a collection. And let's go ahead and get out of here and keep moving. Next over here, you have rotational buttons to rotate the item if you want to. Of course, here's our workspaces again. We have some find and sort features over here that we'll get into more detail later. Favorites, of course, right over here, but there's also folders. Now, folders gives us more of a kind of like computer look at all our different folders. And we can click them over here and get the same results. 
favorites. Well, that's just another way to do it. Down here, filter. Now check this out. If I go to keywords, for example, I don't have any keywords. So there are 18 images. None of them have keywords. If they did, they'd be listed here. If I come down here to date modified, or maybe to focal length, it's telling me seven of the images were taken at 18 millimeter, then 46, then 52, then 70. And you say, well, you know what? I know the ones I'm looking for were shot around 70 millimeter. And you click here, and it will isolate those for you with the click of a button. Same with focal length. What you see here actually will be determined by what's going on over here. Finally, over here you have metadata, which gives you information on the image if it's there. Tells me it was shot at an f5.6 at 1 500th of a second, automatic white balance, ISO 200. You have a lot of different pieces of information down here. And then finally, if you want to, you can add keywords right here. Now down here on the lower left, it tells me I have 18 items. One item is selected and it is 3.07 megabytes. Over here, the slider allows me to change my thumbnails if you want them bigger or smaller, up to you. Now, if we do select another one over here and we click over here, we get that zoom area again, if you wanna use it. Click again to get rid of it. Down here, you've got four buttons. The first one allows you to put things into like a grid area. The next one over allows you to put them into the way we see them normally right here, just stacked together. This button here allows me to see them and view them as details. And finally, this one right here allows me to view them as a list. Now, anytime you wanna go back to the normal workspace, like Essentials, you can right click on it right here and say Reset. And it'll take you right back to the way Adobe feels Essentials should be. Well, there you go. Just kind of a quick look around the application itself. In the upcoming lessons in this chapter, we will get more detailed.